want to create, constantly create, raving what? We do not want satisfied customers. Satisfied customers will go away when someone else gives them a better offer. Is it true? What you want is a raving fan. If you create a raving fan, that means you're adding more what? Than anybody else. And even if in the moment you're not, for some reason, they'll stay with you. Like the Apple people stayed with people at Apple because they knew they were going to find a way. So the only way to make sure you have raving fans long term is create a culture where everybody knows that's our purpose. That everybody knows our reason for being is to make sure our clients are wowed beyond their wildest imagination. That we so far over deliver that we're legendary in what we do. And Tony Shea said two things. We can make this work. They said, how are we gonna make it work? Women wanna try and choose. He said, well, FedEx them to them. They said, they're not going to want to do that. He goes, we'll pay the shipping. They said, but what if you don't like them? We'll pay the shipping back. Now, everybody on that team said, that is the kiss of death. You will lose so much money, you won't be able to stand. He said, you don't understand women. They associate shoes to happiness. You need to trust me on this. And they were losing money like crazy, so they said, screw it. Let's try it. He came up with an irresistible offer. Pick as many shoes as you want. We don't care how many pairs. Take 20 pairs. We'll ship them all to you and we'll pay the shipping. And any ones you want to keep, we'll ship back. He said, we're going to lose money on a few people, but the majority of them are going to take more than they normally would because it's so easy, and they're not going to ship them back. They're going to squeeze into those shoes or find a way. Unless they're horrible, they're not sending them back. And if they do, they're going to want them in another size, and we'll still make money. And by the way, was he right? Your job, my job is, most of us in this room, I think, probably do work crate raving fans as individuals. But if you're going to build a business, you got to build a culture that's based on rating fans.